Welcome to Basic Quality Principles, the process for achieving quality in an organization. It is important for the quality technician to understand basic quality principles. These principles support and clarify what quality means to an organization. They also need to be connected to what the customer views as quality. Quality is the totality of features and characteristics of a product or service that bear on its ability to satisfy stated or implied needs now and in the future. Quality exists in a computer designed to meet a buyer's current and future needs. Quality cars meet the customer's expectations for performance, safety, dependability, and longevity. Quality in a steak dinner meets the customer's expectations for price, cooking method, flavor, presentation, and temperature. 1. Determine the customer's requirements. In order for any organization to achieve quality, customer wants, needs, and price range must be understood. The customer may want the newest sports car, but must be practical in terms of budget constraints and family need. Which vehicle is the customer likely to buy? 2. Define requirements and set standards. Achieving quality requires that standards are set and all requirements are defined. Which set of requirements results in a better product? Dig a hole and put bird feeder in the hole. Fill with bird seed. Or, dig a hole two feet deep, one foot in diameter, place the post in the hole, mount the feeder to the pole, backfill the post, and fill the feeder with bird seed. 3. Prepare the plan to meet the customer's requirements. These plans may involve retooling, training, and reorganizing work or systems. Identify all areas necessary to work toward the standards and meet the customer's requirements. Plan the change, design, specifications, purchasing, manufacturing, sales, shipping, and maintenance. 4. Communicate to all concerned the customer's requirements and the plans to meet those requirements. All departments are in the communications loop. 5. Assess the ability of the organization to meet the new requirements. Involve all impacted departments. 6. Choose and use capable processes. Capable processes are those that are able to meet the customer's specifications and requirements. Choosing these processes involves an in-depth knowledge of the performance level and the reliability of these processes. Can the lathe meet the tolerance requirement? Does the program provide correct statistics? Are the tracking systems able to monitor the process? 7. Control the process. A stable process is in control when the data comes from a normal bell-shaped distribution. The mean of the process is close to the center of the specifications. The control limits are within the limits expected by the customer. The process is in statistical control. Errors are minimized. Control the process. It is not enough to determine the requirements and set up the internal process to meet those requirements. In order to ensure the long-term ability to meet the customer's requirements, the process must be controlled. The process for achieving quality in organizations involves a focus on customer requirements and integrating those requirements into the systems of an organization. You have now completed the learning object, Basic Quality Principles, a process for achieving quality in an organization. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and we'll let you know if we have something new for you to learn.